the facility where solid waste is unloaded from smaller trucks and reloaded into larger vehicles for transport to a final disposal site. Transfer stations can help to reduce the cost and environmental impact of waste transportation by consolidating waste from smaller collection vehicles into larger, more efficient vehicles. Transfer stations are typically classified into three types based on their size. Small transfer stations, these stations have a capacity of less than 100 tons of waste per day. They are typically used in rural areas offer specific types of waste, such as construction and demolition debris. Medium transfer stations, these stations have a capacity of 100 to 500 tons of waste per day. They are typically used in suburban and urban areas. Large transfer stations, these stations have a capacity of more than 500 tons of waste per day. They are typically located in major metropolitan areas and serve a large region. In addition to their size, transfer stations can also be classified by their type of operation. Some common types of transfer stations include, direct discharge stations, these stations are the simplest type of transfer station. Waste collection vehicles unload their waste directly into a larger transfer vehicle. Storage discharge stations, these stations store waste in a bunker or other container until it can be loaded into a transfer vehicle. This type of station can be used to reduce the number of transfer vehicle trips required. Combined direct and storage discharge stations, these stations combine the features of direct discharge and storage discharge stations. Transfer stations play an important role in modern waste management systems. By consolidating waste from smaller collection vehicles into larger, more efficient vehicles, transfer stations can help to reduce the cost and environmental impact of waste transportation. Here are some examples of the different types of transfer stations based on their size. Small transfer station. A small transfer station in a rural area may consist of a simple drop-off area where residents can bring their waste. The waste is then collected by a larger truck and transported to a final disposal site. Medium transfer station. A medium transfer station in a suburban area may have a more complex operation, with multiple bays for unloading collection vehicles and loading transfer vehicles. The station may also have equipment for compacting or baling waste to reduce its volume. Large transfer station. A large transfer station in a major metropolitan area may be a highly automated facility with multiple bays for unloading collection vehicles and loading transfer vehicles. The station may also have equipment for sorting and processing waste, such as recyclable materials. The type of transfer station that is best for a particular community depends on a number of factors, including the volume of waste generated, the distance to the final disposal site, and the budget available. The following factors affect the selection of transfer stations, waste volume and type. The volume and type of waste generated in the community will determine the size and type of transfer station that is needed. For example, a community with a high volume of waste or a significant amount of hazardous waste may need a larger or more specialized transfer station. Distance to the final disposal site. The distance to the final disposal site is another important factor to consider. Transfer stations can help to reduce the cost of waste transportation by consolidating waste from smaller collection vehicles into larger vehicles. However, the longer the distance to the final disposal site, the more expensive it will be to transport the waste. Population density. The population density of the community can also affect the selection of a transfer station. Transfer stations in densely populated areas may need to be located in more industrial areas or may need to have specialized features to minimize noise and odor impacts. Budget. The budget available for the construction and operation of the transfer station is another important factor to consider. Transfer stations can be expensive to build and operate, so it is important to select a size and type of station that is affordable for the community. Environmental regulations. Environmental regulations may also affect the selection of a transfer station. For example, some communities may have regulations regarding the location of transfer stations or the types of waste that can be accepted at transfer stations. In addition to these factors, other considerations that may affect the selection of a transfer station include public opinion. Communities may have concerns about the location and operation of transfer stations. It is important to engage the public early in the planning process to get their input and address any concerns. 
Permitting Transfer stations may require permits from a variety of government agencies. It is important to identify the required permits early in the planning process to ensure that the project can be completed on time and within budget. By carefully considering all of these factors, communities can select a transfer station that is the best fit for their needs.